All right, guys, here we go. This is conditioning. No crazy heavy weights today. This is gonna be two conditioning workouts. And then we're gonna hit the sauna, hit the ice bath. This for us is a way to keep lean, get shredded, get fit, athletic, and um, also like train pretty much every single day. We're not missing a day. No. We don't have we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. And the only way I've learned over time to be able to do that is combine the weight workouts, so heavy lifting, strength, bodybuilding style with the cardio. If I do bodybuilding every day or strength every day, I'm absolutely taxed, fucked, I end up losing strength and I don't recover. So combining the bodybuilding slash strength with the conditioning stuff like this, this is nowhere near the same level of um, tax on your body, so your central nervous system. It's just cardio, essentially. We do sometimes throw in some heavy, yeah, some weights here and there, but it's not super, super heavy. So that's what we've learned over time. Enabling us to train every day, the only way to do it is to combine the conditioning workouts on, let's say, the rest days for strength and bodybuilding. Hope that made sense. We've been training very hard. We did a demon time workout last night. I cleansed some demons, cleansed some sins. And but we're here again in the morning. This is a, another morning routine. Today's workout is gonna be a ladder. So you're gonna start at six reps, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then back down the ladder, 14, 12, 10, eight, six. Salt bike, burpee touch, toast bar. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Demon time. Demon time. Same way. Also, yeah, um, what I want to mention, guys, as well, is for me and Reese, and for a lot of people who recognize this type of training, what it does for me, it gets me in that mental state, um, performing at a high frequency, by like getting my heart rate up. I completely change my state for the day. You wake up, you might be a little bit groggy, you might be a little bit tired. When you get your heart rate up really, really high and you start to sweat, the cardio will do that so much better than just lifting heavy weights in the gym. For me, doing heavy weights, strength is boring. This stuff, the cardio, the conditioning, oh, it sets me alight and starts me up, starts the day perfectly. For the rest of your day, you feel just focused, clear on where you're going. And then towards the end of the day, you'll feel yourself as well start to slip and start to get maybe a little bit tired, not as energized. Let, let things get to you a little bit with work, business, relationships. So that's why again, I will probably hit another workout later on tonight. It just keeps me, keeps me sane, keeps me calm, keeps me cool, keeps me collective. What are we saying? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's fucking go.
We've done. We've done 20. How's that? 23 minutes. 400 calories, average heart rate, 149. Dude's fucking paid, baby. What we did, because it was a ladder, um, going from six up to 16, because we're working in pairs, one of us used the ski erg for the first half, and then the other one used the assault bike. When we got to 16 cows, we switched. Um, yeah, that was tasty. That was fucking tasty. Love it. Here we go. Physique shot, baby. Physique shot. Oh. Right guys, that is sweat equity complete. What are you saying, Bob? Good? Right. <laughs> we wake up and dominate, bitches. Um, that was literally 23 minutes, just pure cardio and conditioning. I love that style of training so fucking much. It just makes me feel on top of the world, should we say. We st yeah, we stack. We stack so that. hard that when you finish, you feel like you've accomplished something. Big. Yeah. yeah, we were. I was in. A, I was in a good flow. We were both listening to the same music. It's quiet here. Otherwise, um, we're training. We're training with each other. We can push each other. We're keeping on top of, of the pace. Um, doing something like that and pushing it really hard is pretty difficult on your own. So, in pairs is just epic. All right, man. Team. Team. Time to get cold. Time to get cold. Time to get hot. Another body cleanse. The, the sun is out today. So we're gonna go in the steamy room and get all steamy. 10 minutes in here, and I'm gonna aim for six minutes in the ice bath. Um, guys, don't worry, it's all good. You're not meant to, based on research, go in the ice bath after training. I don't care, in a minute, I'm just doing some cardio. It's not a weight session. So all you snowflakes out there, please, Keep the mouth shut, yeah? <laughs> it's not the end of the world. We're not gonna die. I'm not gonna lose my gains. I'm jacked, I'm fit, and I fucking wanna go in the ice pass after the workout. off the ice bath now um, I think well I think it's six degrees I think so <coughs> potentially five to six degrees it's pretty chilly um, I think 10 degrees is pretty easy this I usually go in for around five minutes six minutes um, if you've not been in an ice bath it's fucking awesome I swear an ice bath saved my life <laughs> When I was going through some horrible, dark shit uh, last year, I was smashing the ice bath every day and it just chills you out, really fucking zends you, centers you, aligns you, again, cleanses you. Um, yeah, amazing, really use it. Part of my uh, weekly routine in terms of training, recovery, helps with sleep. And um, I think a lot of people stress themselves out a lot about how many minutes you should be going in for. Me personally, I stay in until my whole body goes completely numb and that usually takes around three to four minutes. So then when I feel that, I kind of relax, I feel calm. I think that's where my sweet spot is. Any further and I just get out and I literally feel like I'm gonna like faint and pass out. You've gotta be really careful because you go from a workout and you go into the ice bath and you're in that mindset of pushing yourself. It's not demon time in the ice bath, guys. Uh, it's quite dangerous if you do push yourself a little bit too hard. So you've got to like just think about 
this is for recovery, not to kind of test your mind, <laughs> which I've done in the past before, where I've got out, got into the sauna, got back out, and then I've nearly fainted on the floor. Remember, you've just done a workout, so blood sugars have gone low, and you're not meant to try and really push yourself to the breaking point in the sauna and ice bath, guys. Remember that. biggest tip for you guys is to don't stay in one to two minutes you need to go past that because when you get past three to four minutes I feel anyway I go completely numb a lot of the guys just panic because they feel like the hands are gonna fucking fall off but you're fine you're absolutely fine it's a little bit of fucking pain so suffer because when you get past that point there's no real there's like a point of pain and when you get up to that it doesn't go any higher so when you've got to that threshold of pain in the water it doesn't go any higher so you hit it hold 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 and then you relax and it's easier that's the best technique i could tell you just like when you're training in the gym you get into flow state when you hit that threshold you get that second wind, I call it, and then you just fucking keep going. But remember, we're not gonna push ourselves too far. This is five minutes, so I'm gonna get out now. <laughs> 